What's up, guys? My name is Miles. And my name is Fez. And this is The Commodity. And today we're reacting to Palawan voted best island in the world, Philippines. Here's why. I'm kind of curious. So is this like an actual, uh, like it was actually voted and was, you know what I'm saying? Like, was it actually selected as the number one or is it just like, I think this is the best place in the world? Yeah, right. So obviously you guys know that we could Google that answer, but that's our way to communicate with you guys in the comments. So let us know down below if this was really voted the best island in the world. Also, while you're in the comments section, go ahead and scroll back up, click a like on this video, click subscribe if you want to see our future content. And if you want to help support the channel a little more, you can click that join button. So let's go ahead and check out Palawan Island. Number one island. So just off we have already app, seen this island. I don't think I have. Huh? Yeah, because we saw the the houses along the side of oh, it. Oh, we have. Yeah, we have seen this island, and we complimented it the first time. Yeah. Wow. See, I cannot wait to do stuff like that. Yeah. With a big sandbar. Yes. You know how much people would spend on the wood that's just sitting on the side? Oh, I know. Here in the U.S. Like, we'd spend so much money on that wood. That is so gorgeous. Yeah. I definitely get it. I mean, I'm not the one that's making... Because I've never been there, and I haven't been to a whole lot of islands, if I'm being real. I'm so, for any. me to make an, uh, an assumption of which islands are the best, but this definitely checks off all the lists on my... Maybe a little little more jungle feel than I would want personally yeah but beyond that I think it's beautiful yeah I feel like you know obviously I mean not obviously this looks really thick I know that guy was walking through some mm -hmm. of it earlier but I feel like he might have been walking through some of the thinner parts of it this looks really thick to walk through it might not be it might just look that way uh, on camera I do like the shade though you know, if right. you're out spending an entire day on the island, you're going to want to be under the shade at some point. Yeah. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah. You'll get fried. Yeah. I don't care how dark you are. But that's dope. Could you imagine living in one of those houses? I don't think I would like that. Like, I think <laughs> really? I would like it for the first little bit. From jumping places. So the island of Palawan has just been voted the okay. best island in the world by the famous travel magazine called Travel and Leisure. And Leisure. just by coincidence, we have actually been on the island of Palawan the last four months during this whole coronavirus uh, crisis. So we decided mm. to make a video on why we agreed that Palawan is the best island in the world. So we're going to start off with the most famous location, which is El Nido. El Nido is famous for its limestone cliffs and islands. That is gorgeous. And the most Super popular cool activity looking. to do here is the island hopping tours. So this is tours. a much bigger there island than I thought it was. Yeah, me too. Tour yeah. Because there's so much to see. So there's multiple different island hopping tours that will take you to different locations, different islands, and different beaches. The islands are literally some of the most mind-blowing places in the world, some of the best nature that you will ever see. You it's get beautiful. all different yeah, kinds for of sure. shades of blue in the water, amazing snorkeling. You can do kayaking in the big lagoon and the small lagoon, which are two very famous places on social media. Many of the beaches on the islands are also included in the top list of best beaches in the world, like the famous Hidden Beach, which we have also dope. been fortunate to go to. So my friend Mauricio just got back from Hawaii mm -hmm. and he went snorkeling and, and uh, he ended up getting to dive with sharks, like in an actual cage, and uh, it was super dope. He that took videos of it; crazy. it's on his Facebook. But it was it was awesome. See, I like the seclusion. See, I maybe, do too. Maybe not that secluded though. 
Like, I would rather be able to walk to it and not have to rely on boats or whatever. Right. Well, but at the same time, if, if you're I'm on in a the... small island, though, you're going to have to rely yeah, on yeah, the that's boat true. anyway. That's <laughs> very true. But that looks very, like... Awesome. The only downfall is, you know, like if you're, you, you really got to plan that trip out. Yeah. You like that, take even if it's just a day and... trip or whatever, you got to be ready for food. And, yeah. You know, there's not a whole lot of cover over here, so you better bring something. Right. So. And those are moving. Yeah. I didn't know how fast those things actually move. Nido also has amazing inland beaches. The most famous one is Nakba, and Nakba. it has white sand and super clear turquoise oh, water. Look, it's like a and swimming pool. And there's another pool. one that's yeah. famous, and it's called Las Cabanas, Las or Vanilla Cabanas. Beach. From the mainland, you already have amazing views of the gigantic so gorgeous. islands. Besides the beaches and islands, there's also some options of things to do inland. Wow. You can also visit. I would do that. Yeah, that would be dope. There are many amazing things to see. one of the best feelings oh, laying, yeah. laying under a waterfall with that cool waterfalls. water yeah. another famous especially if it comes from like a Palau natural spring is yeah the island of Coron, which is north of el nido it That's has similar scenery to el nido but is slightly different you still get the limestone cliffs and the islands and different beaches the island of Koran has many lagoons and lakes within the island that have underground connections to the sea. The most famous ones are oh called Kayangan Lake and That's Twin awesome. Lagoon. Koran is also extremely popular for snorkeling and diving as there are a dozen sunken Japanese warships from World War II. Thank you guys II, for this recommendation. And also yeah, lots of absolutely. amazing marine life to be seen. Just like El Nido, you'll see so many different shades of blue in the water, so many coral reefs, and it's hard to choose which one is the that best is out of the That is super two. cool. Yeah. So when we went to uh, the Bahamas, where's the cursor at? So when we went to the Bahamas, mm -hmm. uh, they had like an area kind of like that. Uh, I mean, the Bahamas is beautiful. You know? Right. Um, I mean, they got the white sandy beaches and all that kind of stuff. But the areas that we went to, because we went on a cruise, mm -hmm. uh, some of it was more for, they were trying to develop a, cor uh, a reef. Right. But So they sunk a bunch of boats and stuff. Yeah. So it was really kind of cool because it was deep enough to where your ears would have to pop. Mm -hmm. But you could hold your breath long enough and you can go between all the boats and stuff. Yeah. Oh, it was so cool. Like, that's what I'm thinking of. I'm like, that feels like it's a little bit deeper there. Right. But... At the same time, it looks so cool. It's so gorgeous, like the super light blue. Yeah. Another incredible place of Palawan is the Puerto, Puerto Princesa, Princesa Underground River. It is one of the world's most impressive cave systems and it has been listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Oh, it's cool. a very popular attraction in the region of that would be Princesa, really cool and it's one of the longest underground rivers in the world which also features limestone cliffs and mangrove forests I'm just trying to sleep <laughs> <laughs> grown-ups <laughs> Besides the popular islands of El Nido and Coron, Palawan still has many other islands near the mainland. Some island hopping tours that we have done is in Honda Bay in Puerto Princesa Honda Bay. and also another island hopping tour in Port Barton. Both of these places don't have the limestone islands, which is why they're not as popular, but they're still really incredible islands. I don't need the limestone. I don't have an issue with it, but I, like that looks so amazing. I, no, it looks amazing. So I think the limestone part of it is more for the scenery. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah, I, I think that that it it just oh. gives a different feel. I mean, you're not just on a beach. You're on a beach with these ah. mountain limestones. I'm good with this. Yeah, that looks awesome. That looks perfect. Yeah. <laughs> 
I can't wait to swim with the fishies. And they just want to like explore her and... That sounds so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, you know what I mean. I know exactly what you mean. Because she's different. Yeah, she's wow, not look, a fish. Look at all those starfish. Is that, that's called uh, like a chocolate starfish or a, uh, it's something like that. I think I don't even want to make up. I have no clue. They're gonna be like, "You're stupid." That's not what it's called. That's a authentic experience, as it's not whatever starfish. It's more like a local beach village, fishing village. That's cool. And Palawan has many villages on beaches, just like Port Barton. Beside those attractions, just driving around the island is absolutely beautiful. It consists of thick jungle, lots of rice fields, and you can easily see the authentic Filipino province life. So those are just some of the places that we visited and know about. We're still here discovering Palawan and they've been in this area Alido for four months. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Kind I wonder of, if they're still stuff. there. And there's just so much to do and so much to see here. Every few days we go out exploring, finding new beaches, uh, doing adventure stuff like kayaking and hiking and it really is just a tropical paradise and it's so big so there really is just so much to do we haven't discovered the south yet i know this place is called uh is it balabac balabac yeah there's islands mm, called balabac. balabac which are supposed to be amazing looks like the maldives or something there's also in the north the uh Linapakan. Yeah, between El Nido and Caron you have Linapakan, which is supposed to be, I think, still similar limestone like islands and beaches and they stuff. They both have it the really same is type just of an incredible place. And we same can type definitely of what? see Here. why it has been built oh, yeah. as the best island in the world. It has pretty much everything you'd expect from a yeah. tropical paradise island, I think. Yeah, yeah. We've been traveling for almost two years now and we've been to uh, most of the places that we've been to are like uh, islands because we love beaches. And we, we agree with the, the award and we, we love Palawan and El Nido and yeah, we love this place. Yeah, especially El Nido and Coran. It's some of the most mind-blowing scenery you'll ever see by I far. Stole. Yeah, it is. We have many daily vlogs of these places that we listed here Waiting and for also King other Kong places in here yeah. in Palawan. So you can watch them and see the places with more details. So let us know if you've been to Palawan and if you agree with it being voted as number one. Or if not, just let us know some of your favorite islands and yeah, I'd love to check them out. Maybe we've visited some. So this was an, first of all, this was an awesome video. Yeah. Uh, really well put together. Um, so if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to Jumping Places because this, this is a very well put together video and I'm actually interested in seeing some of their other vlogs. So I could see why this is actually number one. Like yeah. I could legitimately see with that. Not even just trying to be like, oh, yeah, it's really good. Right. No, like there's so many different options as far as places to hang out and stuff like that. Uh, like I said, like I thought that the uh, the one with all the hammocks lined mm -hmm. up, I thought that was perfect. You might actually like the one with the uh, limestone cliffs. Honestly, I like them all. And the fact that they're all right there with each other. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then there's a bunch Why of different not just go places to, to swim. <laughs> yeah, no, it's awesome. Because like I, I like it, if it's not still on anymore, but it'll be in the thumbnail, uh, the bottom left. I like, I like the that. lagoon type yeah. stuff. Yeah, absolutely. That's one of the reasons why I think it's so good. Yeah, is because I don't know. Again, I haven't been to a lot of islands. If I've been to any, to but be it's got a beach honest. for everybody. Outside of the Bahamas and going down to those areas. It's probably the only islands I've actually personally been on. Yeah. It's not much of a thing here. <laughs> There's not a lot of islands. Um, so that's why I kind of see why it's so good because there's so it's diverse. Yeah. I'm not even talking about the people. I'm just talking like, I wonder if the people understand where they're at, like the, the locals, like if they oh, understand, sure they that's why they love their country so much. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, do they understand how ridiculously beautiful their home is compared to a lot of other places and i've traveled to a lot of places i've been lucky in that and some places are stunningly beautiful but some places just suck it's a lot more beautiful than uh mississippi yeah <laughs> yeah so guys we appreciate this suggestion it was perfect the it makes me really want to visit if you have any other suggestions down in the description below there's a link to our discord leave 
another suggestion for videos like this. We'd definitely love to take a look at them. If you want to see our next videos, please hit the subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you want to support us directly, click on the join button and join our membership program. And with that being said, my name is Miles. And my name is Fez. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Out.